Try that again. <laughs> <laughs> And it's Casey's phone for the win. Hey, what's up, everybody? And welcome to my How to Build a Studio series, where I get to show you how I turned this into this, a state-of-the-art audio and video production studio in my basement. I can't wait to show you some of the tips and tricks and the things I learned along the way to hopefully help you make your home studio build the best that it can be. Thanks so much for watching. Let's get started. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Cooper Studios. I just did a big video on soundproofing and uh, explaining a bunch of different ways to make uh, changes to your home studio, to your practice room that can benefit the sound transfer between rooms. And today I am here with Mr. Aaron Catlin of Blue Watermelon. He is an acoustician and he's one of the guys that kind of helped me with the concept and the ideas behind this build. And he brought in a bunch of awesome microphones and is recording the actual decibel levels in each room so we can show the sound transmission between the two. I brought this awesome drum over here, Mr. Craig Gibson, a friend of mine, in to smash the drums so I can go around and talk to you guys and we can show the difference between in here and those other rooms. So let's get started and let's play some drums. sealed doors here, we've already had a big difference in the difference in sound between the two rooms. I can um, hear now. Yeah, you can actually hear when you talk. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a great thing here. I mean, so each of these microphones that we're recording here has a different decibel level in the different rooms right now. You're able to see it on that screen. So, Correct. Uh, and this right here, this is a sound lock. And so what this does is it allows you to have a space in between those important rooms to bring that volume down. And so we're actually going to go in the control room now and show you the decibel difference in there. So that sound lock over there now allowed us to have a third door closed and allowed us to limit the volume even more. There are three layers of drywall, the uh, Soundbreak XP drywall and a bunch of the Rockwool safe and sound insulation in between these walls here. And so now we can actually barely hear the drums from over there and we can hear them. We can actually mix and hear the drum and audio that he's playing along to from the other room. And this is what it's like with nothing going on. So you can still hear that actually most of the audio is leaking through the, the door still. And that's where your, I mean, doors are your biggest leak point. So now we're gonna go through uh, the sound lock over to the green room, which is the uh, bedroom as well, and kind of show you how big of a difference that you can have just between this small space. So I want you to explain this monitor of awesomeness up here. All right, so what we're looking at on the green mic, we're looking at the mic actually right next to Craig in the live room. The pink mic is the mic inside the sound lock. The blue one is the one inside the control room. And the purple one is the one right there that most of that noise is actually coming from us talking. If you take a second and we don't talk, you'll see. Oh yeah, it went down and dropped down to the same level. Yeah, schedule. so... Um, I was thinking about that for a second. I was like, why is it, why is it so much louder in here? But that, that makes a lot of sense. So if you're looking at the graph, this side is the low frequencies and that side's the high frequencies. And that's generally what you expect in any kind of environment. It's a lot harder to mitigate low frequency than it is high. Um, and depending on you know what's important to you, that's where the really expensive point can come in if you're trying to make adjustments for that. So, so this up here, that's the, the decibel level in the live room? That is the A-weighted decibel level on fast in the live room. So yeah, I wouldn't stand in there without earplugs if I were <laughs> yeah. you guys. <laughs> 100 and, well, over 100 dB up to like 115. Yeah, and that's A-weighted too, so that's lower. <laughs> oh, okay. So higher, it would be higher if it's an unweighted grade. That's lower than the actual? Yes. Okay, wow. <laughs> So, can we see what number it is in this room currently? Yeah. So, it's 
So without talking, we're looking at 50 dB, and when we talk, it goes up to 70 dB, yeah. so, or 55 dB. So that's pretty crazy that talking is 70 dB. Yeah. Well, it's A-weighted, so it's rolling off the bottom and the top end. Okay. Curve. I can show you what the real is. So, but if you're talking, you won't see as big of a difference when you're talking. Yeah. But with A-weighting, it rolls out the low end, so that's why your talking picks up really heavily. Gotcha. Wow. Well, that's, that's quite a huge difference. I mean, the fact that we can be in here with him playing and everything Yeah, awesome. and then if you go back to... There's Craig unweighted. Okay, so he's, he's kind of moving around 110 dB right now. Yeah. Awesome. That's, That's definitely a room you don't want to be in with our ears protected. <laughs> yeah, for real. Okay, well, let's check. I want to check right above the live room and see what it's like okay. from below to above. Because your ceiling is one of the hardest points to... We take a purple mic. Yeah, okay, purple mic's going with us. Sweet. Actually, we're going to stop at the stairwell over here. So this is just right on the other side of the live room wall. So right on the other side of this wall here is the, uh, the live room. There's three layers of drywall again because it's a room within a room set up. So that's why you can hear such a large difference. And you mostly hear that low, uh, low frequency because the, uh, it's the doors that are leaking the high frequency in these other rooms, right? Correct. Yeah. It's mostly the doors. The, the low frequency transmits through the walls pretty well, but the high frequency stuff, it's air gaps that it's getting through. Yeah. Awesome. Well, we'll get the reading there, and then we'll go upstairs. Did you read those your stairs? Yes. So right here, literally right below us is Craig. I think I can jump on his head over here or something like that. But uh, this is probably the weakest point in the whole build because of the eight foot ceilings. I wasn't able to do a dropped ceiling that is acoustically isolated from the joist and from the ceiling above, which is what you want to do in a room within a room setup. So the fact that we're still having a huge difference in those uh, DVs is, is pretty awesome. Um, I mean, you can sit here and you can talk and you can you know live life while there's a drummer right below you, which is... Mostly what we're hearing is the kick and the snare. Yeah. Everything else is pretty well attenuated. So let's just wait a second and see what the actual reading is. You can, you can hear it shaking the house because he's playing so hard. That's why I brought Craig in because I wanted to show someone who's going to hit the drums really hard. Really good, dude. Thanks. So this whole time I've had this zoom mic recording at the same gain level. So if I show that audio file, you can actually hear, compared to how loud it is in the room, what's coming into this mic here. So here, we're back here again. You can just hear those high frequencies coming through those door seals. This door isn't sealed very at all. The other three have the, the door seals on it, and they make a huge difference, but you still get that that leak because it's not that solid surface of drywall and that's why doors are always your biggest leak source and they build. So let's go back in there one last time, let him play his parallel. drummer just tearing it up. Is the music still going? No. Oh, it is. Okay. No. Wow. So that, that took longer than I thought. Anyway, <laughs> it was so cool just being up there and like hearing for the first time what it's like for someone to be yeah. shredding, playing super hard and still be able to like listen to, awesome. you know, like I was right above, I jumped up and down on your head for a second or two and of course you wouldn't hear that playing, but yeah, so that is like that's a little bit of a statistical analysis of the actual difference. And as I talked about in the uh, how to soundproof your studio, and I always joke, I, I put the quotes around soundproof because, I mean, you're really just reducing the sound transmission between rooms. The, the word soundproof is Because kind of cringe when people say sound soundproof because yeah. it doesn't really exist. No, and but, we were talking about that earlier, like just the thought of like being able to, to reduce a, a room that much is, is pretty crazy. So. The biggest tricks of what you want to do when you're doing acoustics, just so you know, mass air mass. 
mass reduces low frequencies. Um, transmission loss is generally controlled by rigidity, mass, and depth, like size. So just mass, air, mass when you're building stuff. Build it thick, build it heavy, and leave an air gap. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So make sure you check out the, uh, the video I did on how to soundproof your studio, your drum room, your practice room. There's a lot of things I talked about. Huge shout out to National Gypsum. Uh, their Soundbreak XP uh, drywall that I used throughout this build has great product. Yeah, it has great a product. polymer in between the two levels of, or the two layers of drywall that helps to acoustically isolate those layers from each other. I also have Rockwool Safe and Sound um, insulation in between the walls here, and so those are the kind of products that you can use whether on a small scale or a large scale. Like this is this is more of a large scale build with a room within a room, but if you know even just adding another layer of drywall or replacing your current drywall and your current insulation with these products will bring a big benefit to your transmission between the rooms. And so um, it's been great. I mean, it's been really cool just to see this. Thank you so much, Aaron, for coming out today for bringing all your gear. Thank you, Craig, for tearing it up on the drums, and uh, thank you, Matthias, on the camera. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, I hope this video has been educational and uh, entertaining. See you later.